What's up, geeks and gamers? It's Jeremy coming to you with another video, and today we are going to talk a lot about Lucasfilm because they're doing such a great job, aren't they? They're doing such a great job, aren't they? Um, this is from Disney. Star Wars is dumb. This is itchy. Baka, great job covering all things Star Wars. Friend of the Phantom Menace, friend of geeks and gamers, friend of the channel. Uh, this is a rumor. Episode 9 crew not too happy with Episode 8. Well, I can tell you that I have been aware of this information for several months now. Several months. I was tipped off about this several months ago by someone. I couldn't say anything because I gave my word. They were like, hey, unless this goes public from other places, I can't have you go public with this. I completely agreed with that. But now it is getting out there. I have been aware of this for a while. So I can back up this rumor by saying I have heard the same thing several months ago. All right, so uh, there's a thread at Four Plebs Plebs, uh, a community ran a community run archive of 4chan. The thread is essentially a Q&A with an anonymous user who claims to be part of Episode Nine production. Here's an example of one such spoiler. Um, it's not a clone of the Emperor. The guy who played Doctor Who, Matt Smith, plays Palpatine. Don't ask me how. I don't know if the old Emperor actor is even in the film. I never saw him anyway. There's a big fight scene with Rey and Kylo, which is set in different locations using the Force somehow. Uh, the old Emperor actor, Ian McDermott... <laughs> Can you, can we, I mean, really? Anyway, uh, maybe the Oracle was referring to the Emperor's spirit. Uh, under wraps, I think he comes in halfway through, so it's a surprise. Some believe that this may authenticate the anonymous user's claims because the leaks seem to be consistent with previous leaks. Others may feel that this user is a fake. It will be up to the lead, uh, to the reader to decide, but episode 9 spoilers don't really concern most people anymore. That is the truth. Uh, so far more more entertaining is the suggestion that episode 9 crew were critical of episode 8 and were told to shut up about it. I'm telling you right now, I've heard this same exact thing. I've heard the same exact thing. That's all I can tell you. Um, what is it like working with JJ? Do you, th do you guys joke about Ryan being a hack <laughs> at all behind the scenes? Didn't really speak to him at all. I was mostly, it was most I was mostly with my team. Yes, there were a lot of people making criticism about Episode 8, but after a while, they told people to stop doing it on set. Fortunately for Episode 9 crew, they likely won't have a package of garbage tier media writers following them around and telling them how racist and sexist they are. Uh, thanks to Aaron Countryman for the tip. Now, again, I am not telling you that this is 100% true. What I'm telling you is that I have heard similar things months and months ago. That the people working on episode 9 did not like episode 8 at all. That is what I've heard. So, you can take that for what you want. You can take it with a grain of salt. You can take it as whatever. I'm just telling you what I've heard. And the reason I am talking about it now is because it's being discussed in other places. So, this information is definitely getting out. There's a lot of people talking about it. And um, <clears throat> it's going to be interesting to see how this all plays out. I don't care anything about Episode Nine spoilers. The story means nothing to me anymore. Uh, none of this stuff with the sequel trilogy means anything to me anymore because Kathleen Kennedy is such a terrible leader. Lucasfilm is such a disaster. And I just don't care anymore. I just don't care. And they've, they've, put, they've gotten me to the point where I just don't care. And it's just it's unbelievable. Unbelievable. But um, anyway... Let's just see how everything works out. Let's just see how this continues to play out. We will see if more people will start talking. But it's very interesting, to say the least. So thanks again to Ichibaka. Disney Star Wars Dumb is the site. If you guys want to go check it out. Other than that, have a great day. Thank you very much for checking out this video. And we will talk to you later. Hey everyone, it's Jeremy from GeeksAndGamers.com, and if you're a fan of Geeks and Gamers, please go to our website, visit our merchandise store. We have t-shirts, hoodies, hats, beanies, tank tops, and in the very near future, we're going to have many more products for you to choose from. So thank you for the support. We appreciate it. You guys have a great day, and we will talk to you later.